Update Am I the asshole for not financially helping family and friends despite being able to? Original. So, it's been a couple months. I've learnt my lesson not to ask 17 yo kids on Reddit questions about real life and made some decisions haha. First, a lot of you did make valid suggestions that I took to heart. I spoke to my parents candidly about why I distanced myself from them. They were clearly ashamed and I think it's that shame and pride that kept them from reaching out and apologizing years ago. My mom kept her face covered with her hands for most of the call. She was clearly sad. Anyway I ended up telling them I would never want to see them to go destitute so if they are in poor health or need help with the basic necessities I'm obviously a call away. Otherwise things have stayed the same. Next, about my niece. Here's where I disagree hard with most Redditors. She's a 20-something girl who made a tremendously stupid mistake. She took down a pole driving drunk and will pay for that with her physical appearance and health for the rest of her life. It could have been worse, thankfully that's all it was. I talked to her and as a first step we paid for her initial scar treatment, some silicone dressings, steroid injections to improve the healing. They can't do the removal surgery until they heal properly and things settle down so could be another six months to a year before they reassess. She asked if I can also help her find a rehab, she wants to pay for it herself. She admitted to having a problem and I won't go into why she started drinking but I hope none of the haters have the same reason to turn to a bottle. I also talked to my brother that he's got a year to come up with half the cost of her surgery. If he doesn't come through we'll have a conversation but I think the fire is lit under his ass, and I'm covering half for sure. I'll remind people we aren't prosecutors and judges so when it comes to moral judgments we should do what we believe is right. I stand by my choices to keep my family at an arm's length but not let them fall into poverty if it comes to it, and I support my niece as her attempt to better herself. Thanks to everyone who commented and offered advice, you, Highwaygirl2004, will give you a separate shout out. Lastly, please don't send me requests for money. I've read every sob story under the sun after my last post. I'm not an idiot, wasn't born yesterday and know that any 12 yo with a keyboard can write a mean tearjerker. I offer tremendous monetary support and my time to local organizations that I can actually see providing support to those in need so I sleep well at night, don't bother cursing me out for being heartless. If you're in real need seek assistance from your local organizations. Best of luck everyone and take care. Good luck to you and your family. I get where you're coming from and don't blame you for keeping your distance with your family. I'm a transplant also so I get the pressure that comes with that bit you also have a family of your own to think about. Although I didn't see the first post until you posted this with the update I agree with you on this one. You have made a life-changing event and you can tell who your friends are and not. TBH when people hit something in drunk driving only two things happen. Either they see what they did and turn for help or they deny it by burying themselves in booze. I fully support you trying to get a start with your parents. Not the asshole. I do not understand people who ask strangers for money. It's never not shocking to me to hear about that. Who thinks sending a sob story to a stranger and asking for money will actually work? Okay but it's my son's birthday and I died last month, so if you don't help he gets nothing. Can you live with that, op? Good update, by the way. I like the compromise you came up with. I think you should pay the bills directly so you know the hospital, landlord, bill source got the dollar 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 rather than send the money directly to the relatives. I might also stipulate that she complete her rehab as a condition for paying for one half the surgery. I don't think these conditions are onerous. You're still helping them but making sure you're not getting flimflammed. I am proud of you. You are a very successful person and I am not talking money. I've learnt my lesson not to ask 17 yo kids on Reddit questions about real life and made some decisions haha. Pretty sure I even said this in your original post, and got immediately buried in downvotes lol. You gotta take Reddit with a grain of salt. 99.9% .9 of the time the first thing said is, no contact to so and so, but if you happen to mention it first or say that's what you're doing, it'll turn the comments right against you. That's just the internet I guess. I think you're doing a great job personally. I've learnt my lesson not to ask 17 yo kids on Reddit questions about real life and made some decisions haha. I don't get. Wasn't the general consensus that you were doing the right thing and weren't in awe? People asked you for money after reading all of that? WTF is wrong with people? Good on you for standing up for yourself and sticking to things. 
This is a good update to read. Helping out your niece is a really sweet thing to do and I'm glad you're able to find a happy medium within yourself to do it. This is awesome to hear. When I was growing up, my mother would say, you need to not only be able to smile at your reflection in the mirror in the morning, but also at night. As in, when the day is over, you need to be happy with your choices and know you have done your best. Op I think you have made great choices and am grateful you have such good-hearted people in your life. You deserve a comfortable night sleep. Purple Heart. I've learnt my lesson not to ask 17 yo kids on Reddit questions about real life. Yeah it can be hit or miss here. Those of us 4-6 decades beyond that age range often find ourselves downvoted to oblivion for suggesting kindness over revenge. Congratulations on making some fine decisions for yourself and your family. Many blessings. I'm just now reading everything and I am happy to know that everything worked out for you in the end. In my mind you made the best calls, and am glad you had a friend and in-laws who risked everything to save your son. Fatherhood is a demanding job, and to have read everything you've done truly brings tears to my eye. You certainly were never close to the asshole in that situation. The closest of one's family certainly isn't always blood-related. You definitely made the choices of the bigger man in this situation. I know what sacrifice for one's child takes, not to the extent you faced, but regardless your story serves as an inspiration to me. I wish you and your family the happiest of years to come. I just read your AUG post today, and I was of the opinion that I understood why you would not give the money, but hoped you would change your mind. I think you did the right thing by communicating your grievances and deciding to help in part. It's better for you and your family in the long run. You may never forgive them and that's your right, I don't think I would either in your position, but at least you won't have to feel guilt in the future. Congratulations for deciding for yourself to be the bigger person, instead of caving in to cultural peer pressure. Asking 17-year-olds for advice lol. So true. Good for you for finding a way to thread the needle. As someone who is poised to be financially prosperous, who comes from a complicated and impoverished background, and who needed to have distance from family to arrive where I am I really understand the line you have drawn. Good on you and God bless. Dude, I just want to say good on you and your in-laws for doing everything possible to save your kid. I was born with an at the time, late 70s, very complex and particularly rare heart defect, you can confirm in my post history, and my mom had a doctor literally tell her, don't waste your money, she's not gonna make it, try for another one, and that is not a particularly common thing to do in my culture, the guy was just a callous a-hole who should have had his license revoked. I am now 42 yo and the oldest living patient with my condition in my country. Big kudos and hats off to you for fighting for your son against the odds, less than 3, carat, p.s. No, I'm not telling a sob story to ask for money, I have done well for myself and can afford my own medical care comfortably. Helping is one thing, being taken advantage of by people capable of handing things themselves is another. Sounds like you're helping. You just have to watch out for the advantage part because helping easily slides into it. Good luck. A supposed millionaire asking for advice on Reddit? Specifically am I the asshole? Totally real. Hi op, I know I'm just some rondo on the internet, but you have money and I don't, so you're going to send me some right? It's only fair. S. Seriously, what is with some people? Best of luck to you and your family. I know I'm more making assumptions than reading between the lines, but I have a suspicion about what happened to your niece, and while it wouldn't excuse drunk driving, if my assumption is correct, I can understand her developing a drinking problem. I hope rehab goes well for her, and she's able to find healing. And honestly, if I'm wrong, I still hope all goes well, as addiction can be a bitch. Ooh you should post all those asking for money over on the r, choosing beggars sub. I love this update. I remember this post and what a whirlwind it was. I'm glad you have compassion for your niece and I'm sorry to hear she's having some problems in her personal life. It's a real stand-up thing to do. You're kind of right we're not the best place for advice, at least am I the asshole probably isn't but it sounds like you did what is best. You found compromises everywhere and had good conversations to begin the healing process from the past. Thanks for remembering us. You're a saint for what you're doing for your niece. You were justified in the first place for deciding not to help. But this is 100% the better outcome. You're really gonna help turn her life around. So, it's been a couple months. I've learnt my lesson not to ask 17 yo kids on reddit questions about real life and made some decisions haha. 
This is one of the unfortunate things about this sub. Usually someone offering a nuanced position gets instantly downvoted to oblivion. Good luck to you and your family. I respect the way you solved this. You reassured your parents that you would be there if they needed your help for crucial things, but also let them know that their actions hurt and that they cannot take advantage of you. In terms of your brother, again, helping him but not taking over his responsibility to his daughter. And finally, good for you for helping your niece. I hope she gets the therapy, physical and psychological, that will benefit her. You're a good guy, even to your family members who were not so good to you. Class Act. I didn't see your first post but I went and read it now. I think you made the right choice. Your niece will probably benefit more from the rehab and your support than all the surgeries in the world. It's a hard lesson to learn so young in life and compounding addiction, well I hope things go well for her in the future. She can't change her past but she can make a good future for her. Glad there was a positive outcome or the hope of one. My hubby and I won a quite significant amount of money on the lottery in November and have had a few people ask or hint but none too bad as it was mostly hints I chose to ignore the hints and change the subject as these people I knew previously crawled out from nowhere just to explain their finances to me to which I replied as I wasn't in the finance field I know nothing of help lol. I truly think you're a stand-up guy for the way you decided to handle things. I missed your original post but I love to hear things work out well. All the best to you and yours and I really hope your niece gets the help and support she needs to recover mentally. Bro buy me a RTX 3080 PLS thanks. You're a good person. Car accidents linger in the body and the soul, and yes, she's at fault, but being in pain and addicted and without help is hard. Good for you for stepping up for her. I didn't see your original post when you first posted it, but good for you. The maturity with which you've handled an incredibly difficult moral judgment after getting permission from the faceless masses to say, screw them, speaks volumes to your character. I wish all the best to you and yours. This is a great update. Everyone who becomes an addict is so out of trauma but not everyone is able to admit the problem. I am so proud of your niece. As far as the rest? You have to live with this choice and that sounds like the driving force here in a healthy way. I am also proud of you. I never saw your original post until today but I would just like to say that I would have handled the situation in exactly the same way you did. Reading your update, it looks like you've made some level of peace with the way you were treated in the past by your family and I'm glad that makes you happy. I'm glad to hear all this and good luck with your health and family. And really people were asking you for money. That's low. You're a very kind and compassionate person, I certainly wouldn't want to help your parents after their cruelty towards your son. However, I hope they don't take advantage of your kindness, since it seems like they didn't apologize for their horrible behavior, just looked ashamed, or covered her face with her hands. They sound like they haven't changed at all and won't admit to how cruel they were to their innocent grandson. But it was very good of you to help your niece and it sounds like she'll turn her life around. Wow. You are a genuinely good human heart. This was a great measured response. Good luck with your business and family. Put all those begging for your money on blast on r, choosing beggars. People are actually sending you requests for money on Reddit? I'm dead lmao. I'm glad you went down this path, it sounds like you made a difficult situation a lot better. I don't think your condescending remarks towards Reddit reactors are necessary, though. Kinda makes the good things you did sound bitter. Wow, this is the first time I saw your post and can I say I think you handled this in the best way. My family isn't wealthy per se but we are well off. My dad has 10 siblings always trying to give sob stories and even demand money and my dad gives it to them. I'll never understand why he does it, despite him telling us that when he was in debt and almost homeless he never received the help he needed. All the best to your family. Hey mate. I lost my dad unexpectedly a month or two ago, so whenever I see someone reconcile with their parents, it does warm my heart a little. You, Ta Sun Heart I think you did right by your niece she should not be accountable for the sins of her father, and I hope she continues to appreciate what you have done. I wish you many years of good health and blessings. First, I am so so happy your child is thriving. And not just your child, but you and your family. Congrats. Stories like this remind me of the little red hen story. As a child I really took from that story that it's during the rough times when the work really has to be done who one's real friends are. I've kept that fable close to me.
It has served me well in life. Cheers to you. And may you continue to live the good life. I'm glad it worked out for you. And I am sorry people messaged you for money. How gross. Yo let me get some cash to pump into GME. JK, good update. Yeah man let all that anger it seems you had go. Either way what you did was understandable. Random people messaging others for money on Reddit is such a wild concept to me. I mean, I did have someone offer to help me out, but I politely declined because I always feel there's someone who needs it more. And hash x200b. I'm glad to hear a follow-up, and it seems that your niece is seeking to improve herself and not expecting a handout. Getting on better with your parents is probably always going to be a dumpy road, but you've opened it. It takes a strong sense of character to do what you did for your niece. It sucks they didn't help you before, but you being willing to help them out now makes you the bigger person. You're a very compassionate, caring man. I hope your niece recovers well, is successful in rehab and gets her life in order. Good luck man. I like your approach in this. Hope it works out for the best for everyone involved. Really people on here begging for money? You can't be for real. This is hilariously stupid. LMFAO. Op some people actually don't have anything to do fr. Ignore them and I wish you and your family the best for what is to come. Can I just say bravo. This update made me rethink how to go about a few things that I can see potentially happening in my own personal life similar to this. Thank you.